The message is clear. Language is often as powerful as the tools on the balance sheet. But central banks don't just shape outcomes through their actions. They also shape perceptions. The language they use is as carefully crafted as their policies, setting expectations and managing reactions long before any rate change or asset purchase. Central banks use language as a deliberate policy tool, shaping outcomes by influencing expectations. When the Federal Reserve described inflation as transitory in 2021, they weren't simply making a forecast. They were giving themselves cover to delay action. That single word bought time, holding off rate hikes for months while inflation gathered pace. Debtors benefited, locking in low borrowing costs while savers watched their purchasing power shrink. This wasn't a miscalculation. It was intentional messaging. The essence of this strategy is expectation management. Academic studies show that policy statements often move markets as much as actual rate changes. The words chosen in press conferences and official statements are tested, repeated, and refined to generate specific reactions. Phrases like transitory or patient serve as verbal tools. Research finds bond yields react strongly to language shifts, sometimes more than to the policy moves themselves. The European Central Bank and the Bank of England have both acknowledged that communication is now a core instrument of monetary policy, not just an afterthought. Consider the transitory episode. Fed officials repeated the term through mid-2021, even as core inflation measures like the PCE index continued to rise. This narrative delayed the tightening cycle, keeping mortgage rates and other borrowing costs lower for longer. The result was a refinancing boom, asset price surges, and a further squeeze on savers. This wasn't a side effect. It was an engineered outcome using language to steer market behavior without immediate policy changes. Central banks refer to this as open-mouth operations. The practice dates back to the 1990s, when forward guidance became a way to manage volatility and smooth transitions. According to BIS research, well-telegraphed policy changes reduce market volatility by about 30% compared to surprise announcements. The message is clear. Language is often as powerful as the tools on the balance sheet. This approach is systematic. Transcripts show that central banks debate not just what actions to take, but how to frame them.